Hello and welcome to this video on the use of for and while loops in Octave. So this is specific for Octave 7.3, but more or less um, the structure of this should be similar to other um, versions of Octave. So for and while loops are pretty valuable, pretty useful. Um, in most programming languages, especially in scripts, where you've got a lot of um, data to iterate over. And I, one thing to be careful with, though, is that Octave is not really optimized for iterating over a huge matrix or a vector. Um, so it's better to, especially using for and while loops, it's usually better to write a function for those. Um, that'll speed it up a lot more. Um, for and while loops are not recommended for most matrix um, operations. Okay, that being said, let's have a look at for loops. So um, for loop first, uh, and then we'll look at while loops. So for um, just sort of starts the loop off. So for um, k is equal to 1 or 0, 5, um, display k, and so there we go. So that's as simple as it is. So for k going from 0 to 5, display the value of k then end. So it'll continue to loop over this until we get from the first to the end of k. Okay. So then a while loop maybe. So let's create a new variable. Let's call k is equal to zero. Okay, k printed off as zero, perfect. Um, so while uh, k is, I don't know, less than five, um, Display k, uh, k inc increment k by one, and okay. So that has done something similar where it has printed out the, or displayed the value of k um, as it's gone through the loop, and it has in fact done that until such times as k is uh, reaches the value of five. So once it reaches the value of five, it stops the loop. So at zero, it does it because k is zero, then it increments k to one, then displays one the second time, increments it to two, then displays two the second time, then increments it to three, then displays four the second time, increments it to four. And then uh, it displays four the next time, and then increments it to five, then five is uh, no longer less than five. So uh, it stops. So that's a simple while loop. Uh, of course, we can write these in our editor as well. So for loop, um, so for k is uh, between zero and k is equal to zero, five, um, display k, um, and so let's call this the, let's put a little, disclaimer in our command. So this is going to be a for loop. And then I'm going to write um, this is going to be the while loop. OK. So uh, here we have to create a variable. So k is equal to 0. Then um, while, make it a little bit bigger. So while uh, k is equal to, um, or sorry, when k is less than five was what we did before, um, display k, then um, increment k by a value of one, and then end that. Okay, so we need to save that. We're in the right directory. Um, then run it. So call this for a while. Run with command. Okay, so the for loop runs zero to five as it did up here. Um, and then the while loop does zero to four as it did here. Okay, so that's um, a very simple basic introduction to uh, for and while loops now. Um, for will work, well, they, they have different um, use cases, I suppose. Um, but yeah, if you're going to be doing this for a, a large vector or matrix, like uh, 
it's definitely a recommendation to have a look at using a function instead, instead of using a for or a while loop. You can, of course, do it, but it's, it's probably going to be quite slow. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Hopefully this was useful to you. If you have any questions on for or while loops, please drop them down in the comments and I'll try and get through them. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that you get to check out the other videos on the channel on Octave or other topics. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.